from My Sweet Passion Cakes in Brighton, UK. I specialize in isomalt. I'm a cake designer, but isomalt is my speciality. Uh, this is my work, as you can see, it's made out of all isomalt, handmade, there are no molds included. Now, I'm going to teach you today how I cook my isomalt to create very, very clear effect, just like on that ring, if you can see it. It's very clear, there is no bit of yellow in there. It's very clear uh, effect and all isomalt I cook, I try to cook it that way. Uh, so I will show you and I will teach you today how I do it. I would like to introduce you as well to my classes, which I do in Brighton. Uh, I will post all the details later at the end of the video if you would like to join me for any classes. Okay, we are back. First of all, the most important before you start cooking is the safety. And I would advise everybody to have something with long sleeves, not to wear any jewellery, to be honest, because it gets hot sometimes when you're cooking, uh, and have full trousers with uh, slippers or something covering your feet as well. Because sometimes when it's so hot, it's very easy to flick and it's, it's liquid. It can go anywhere, even on your, uh, on your eyes. So actually it's quite good to have glasses anyway. So I would say to you, protect yourself at first until you get, obviously, you understand um, how to cook and how to manage the hot sugar. Uh, second of all, what do we need when we're cooking? The most important is to have stainless steel pan and I only use that for cooking uh, hot sugar, I don't use it for anything else. Um, and thermometer and bowl with a cold water which will later stop us cooking the sugar, I will show you later. Spatula and ideally spatula which is the whole uh, silicon, there is no plastic or anything because it's so hot so this is a brilliant one. Another thing, uh, little moulds, uh, I buy from pound shop, anywhere, little moulds where you can pour it in yourself later, uh, the iso mould and it's easy to reuse all the time. I have something a little bit different, which I use it because I cook in a bigger uh, proportions, uh, portions. I have little like a tray and I put parchment paper on there, so when I've cooked it I normally pour over it and wait to cool and then I pack it, okay? So, show you how to cook. Another very important thing is to have lots of around uh, silicon um, mats. I do have a lot around uh, because of your base, you have to protect your, your kitchen. Another thing very important and probably the most important because you can't carry on without the gloves. And I have cotton gloves underneath, I'll show you. Cotton gloves you can purchase from me. Or, um, when you buy those, you can just buy lots of these uh, nitrile um, gloves. They're very thin, but they're great. You know, they protect your hands. To me, is enough. Sometimes I put two layers, you know, when I'm working, if it's really hot. So I'll show you, I cook it on normal electric hob at home. You can use it gas as well, it's no problem. I will explain how we need to use it. The one thing uh, I use, I love, and I mean I love the uh, Saratino isomalt. Uh, I have uh, been cooking with that for the last two, three years and I wouldn't go without it. I do sell it if you want to purchase from me as well, but you can get it anywhere in UK. Uh, the Saratino is brilliant. Now, I cook it in three stages and I put my pan, I've switched on my hob, so it's getting really hot already, uh, we need to minimize the time of cooking. So I put, uh, make sure my pan is same size or smaller than the circle on the hob. That is quite crucial because you don't want to burn it from outside. Same with the gas. If you put on the gas, make sure the flame is only going to the pot. It doesn't go outside. Okay? So I pop it on my hob and I cook it in three stages. So I put one third of isomal sugar. Now, okay, and we're starting cooking. Uh, I don't stir it until it's starting bubbling. That's when I start stirring and I get my spatula. Uh, and when it's melted quite a bit, you can have a look. It's still, it's still a powder. But when it's starting melting, I will show you in a minute, that's when I add another another portion, one third of the isomalt. Uh, and monitor with term, term, uh, thermometer, however, 
at the moment it's still quite cold so we need to try to cook it as soon as we can so I have put it on the full electric uh, here to get it as, as hot as possible so now the first part one third which I'm cooking have a look is quite boiling already can you see it I'm going to add another one third of sugar just a bit more Okay, and the fact that the sugar is already melted already, it's already quickly melting the rest of it without losing the colour. So keep mixing, not too, too much, just making sure that it doesn't splash everywhere for your safety. Okay. Okay, I'll come back in a couple minutes when this is melted and we do one, the other one third. This is the last third, third uh, one third I'm putting in there. Have a look in here how liquid it is, starting to boiling. And I add some more, the last isomalt. All together I've cooked one kilogram. So I've done it, like I said, in three stages. So if you continue doing the same in three stages, you will get clear, clear effect, just like that. I don't bother with thermometer yet because it's still, it's not hot enough yet, but we have to get to about 100, sorry, 180, 190 uh, C. Um, in there, just one second. Come out to task for life. <laughs> okay, so now we need to make sure that's, uh, that just melts nicely clear. The Another thing I use, I use a little brush. One second, I can find it here. Got a little brush like this, which I will clear the sides because we make sure we don't have any white isomalt on the sides of the pan. It's really important uh, because it will not be very nice to work with later. So you can probably notice lots of little bits here, and I need to just clear all this, all the sides, all the sides of the pan. It's all clear, okay? And keep waiting until you reach the temperature at 185, 190 degrees. This is the last stage where all the sugar went in. You can have a look, it's boiling. It bubbles a lot. I've used all sugar, which is one kilogram. And the temperature, I don't know if you can see, we try to get the temperature to 100. 85 to 190 degrees. So I'm just waiting, it's bubbling. It's bubbling and it's, the temperature starting to move because for a while you don't see the change in temperature much. You can still very clear, you can see it, very clear, liquid. Okay, I will uh, I will get back to you as soon as that gets to 185 degrees. Have a look, it's getting to 185. I normally cook it about 190. 185 or 190 is fine. So you can see this one is about 185. I'm going to slowly remove my thermometer. Always be very careful because it's very hot. And I will remove it from the hob and I put in the water a little bit Whoa. to stop cooking. That's it, it stops cooking. And I always have a little cloth underneath, rest on here. If you have a look, it's very, very clear. Very clear. Just be careful, it's very hot. But how clear is that? Very clear. Love it. Now, normally I would colour it. I will do another video another time how to colour it. Uh, for now, I would say to you, I've cooked one kilogram of isomalt. I will normally, for yourself, if you don't use as much as me, you just pour a little bit into a little silicon. Remember, it has to be silicon form because if it's a plastic, it will melt. I just pop in here and 
wait for it to cool and then I put in a bag and I store it. Store it for, oh, can you, if you store it correctly, you can have it for 12 months easy, if not longer. Now, the way I do it, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I've got this uh, attachment paper on here and I pour over here because I use a lot normally ice and It is very, very hot. I'm going to just use my spatula and try to dip everything out of it. All my ice and Okay. So don't waste any. It's not cheap, but it's the best. You can do so many things with it. You can blow, you can, uh, oops, you can pull and create flowers. You can create some gorgeous stuff. I will show you later what you can make. But that's at this stage where we've put, put in a little uh, silicon mold, wait till they cool. When they cool, I'll show you what I do. Okay, 10 minutes later, we get back, uh, we come back and the ice mold is set. It's still a little bit warm, but it's fine. So we pop out, out of our molds. It's quite easy. Oops, that's it. And I want to show you how clear it is. It's still full of bubbles, but it's very, very clear. There is no yellow in it, there's no other colors. It's extremely clear. And when we get rid of the bubbles, it actually will be like glass. I will show you another video, another time, how to get rid of the bubbles. For now, how do we store it? We pop it, now I buy silica gel, which I pop in an airtight bag. I pop normally a couple and put my isomalt in there, close it. And to store it even better, I pop it in the airtight container, close it, and that's it. Now, this will keep 12 months, if not longer. You can just reheat it in the microwave and work with it straight away. It's fabulous. Um, I'm going to make a lot more videos, so please subscribe to my uh, videos. And at the end of the video, there will be um, all my details. So if you want to contact me for any lessons, please do as well. And uh, please, if you liked it, like and share. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.